Alright guys, <clears throat> I'm gonna play a few games off the Ken Hang hard drive. I, I just, I, I really, I, I get comments about, um, as far as like, <clears throat> the games on the Ken Hank 2 terabyte hard drive. Because, you know, if it's, if it's slow or if it's stuttering, you know, oh the game, my game is stuttering, oh the game doesn't play. It's not the hard drive, bro promise you it's not the hard drive it's your pc and i'm gonna show you in a minute now i'm gonna do this all in one shot i'm gonna show you what i'm working with here <clears throat> all right this is the can ink hard drive right you guys know this by now all right i'm gonna show you this is the can ink hyperspin 12 terabyte hard drive right this is the 12 terabyte this is the two terabyte can hang hard drive. All right. I'm I'm going to put games over here on to here and then I'm going to play the games from here. All right? Now, I'm working with this is a this is a gaming PC and um it, it wasn't expensive, but the the major part of this is uh, the fact that I mean the 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 games that that play very well on here, PS2, PS3s, PC games play very well. What's 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 good about this gaming PC is that it's a RTX 3060 uh, graphics chip. So as long as you got that, you should be fine. Um, other gaming PCs, I think they work too. Uh, uh, this this only cost me seventeen hundred dollars. You know what I mean and. It runs everything great. It emulates everything beautifully. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the gameplay. I'm gonna transfer some games to the from the 12 terabyte to the Canon hard drive right now. So, bear with me here. All right, I'm gonna restart this. I'm gonna boot up the uh, Ken Hank two terabyte hard drive. Grab my keyboard here. <clears throat> I really recommend this gaming PC because like I said, it pretty much runs PS2, PS3 games and PC games. Like even the most recent game, Cyberpunk 2077. Devil May Cry 5 plays all those games beautifully. Um, RTX 3060 graphics chip. Um, Intel i7. So if you got an AMD Ryzen 7, uh, Intel i7, it should work. Alright. I'm about to boot up the hard drive right now. It's the one in the middle. Alright, here we go. I am booting up Batacera. Batacera is the uh, it's the program on the uh, Ken Hank two terabyte hard drive. I'm gonna turn the volume up so you guys can hear it. <laughs> kind of weird right now but it's it's booting up everything's fine It takes a couple of minutes, but it boots up fine.
Alright, there we go. Alright. <clears throat> um like I showed you guys in other videos, I got uh I got the P I got a PS4 controller and I got a Xbox One. I can play with either one. They both sync to the Ken Hank hard drive. Both. Uh PS3 also. I have one I have that too. So if you guys have a PS3 controller, I'll, I'll make a video on that. Alright. <clears throat> Start this up. All right, now, now this normally would just sync to it, but because I just plugged it in, you know, I have to sync it again. It's no big deal. So I'm using the Xbox controller. So with my keyboard, <clears throat> I'm gonna. Go down to controllers, pair of Bluetooth device, and then we're gonna pair the Xbox One controller. Alright, yep. There we go, it works. Alright. Alright. Now, <clears throat> what I'm about to do now is um, get out of here. Now I'm going to transfer um, a game from the Hyperspin hard drive to the to this Ken Hank hard. This is the Ken Hank hard drive. This is Batacera. This is Ken Hank two terabyte. The Hyperspin is Hyperspin. It's a whole other program. So. What you have to do is, um, and if, if you have just a regular hard drive that's full of games, like if you you know if you download games and shit like that, you can do the same way. Just make sure it's already plugged up to your PC, along with the Kinetic hard drive. You know, kind of boot them up together. And all you have to do, start off, you have to hit F1. And what this does, this brings up all the folders that you need. All right, so over here is the hyperspin. I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to show you. This is the hyperspin hard. This is the 12 terabyte right here. All right. Now I'm gonna go. I'm going to um. Uh, I don't know what system. Um. I'll I'll transfer a PS3 game. Just so you guys can see it run, I just want you to guys see it see it run from the Ken Hank hard drive, not the Hyperspin, just from the Ken Hank, because um, I get a lot of comments from guys that, like I said, are trying to run PS3 games and off the Ken Hank hard drive, and then they they have a hard time, you know, running the games, and they think it's the hard drive. It's not the hard drive. It's the PC. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll transfer uh, Dead or Alive 5 right here. Alright. Now, in the other video, I, I told you guys as far as like PS3 games. Now, because this is from Hyperspin, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's far, you can download a game and put it right onto the Hyperspin and it'll play. But for the Ken Hank 2 terabyte hard drive, you have to end, you have to rename each folder. And it has to end in .ps3. So I'm going to type it in now. That's the only way it will recognize it well, on the Ken Hank 2 terabyte. So, all right. Dead or Alive, I renamed it .ps3. It's the folder, not the actual ISO or whatever. It's just the folder. Hit OK. All right. Now I'm gonna copy this. Copy. And right here is these folders over here. This is the uh, this is the actual Ken Hank two terabyte hard drive. This is all these are all the folders. So I copy the the Dead or Alive five from the Hyperspin hard drive. I'm gonna put it onto the Ken Hank two terabyte. So I'm looking for the PS3 um, PS3 folder right here. I already got Lollipop Ratchet on here. So 
I'm gonna add the real live right now so you guys can see what I mean. It's 6.4 gigs and it's moving it in less than 37 seconds. It's pretty fast. That's why I said this this way, it's way faster than if you were to like have Windows running and have one hard drive moving shit to the next hard drive. Uh, this this way is way easier. I mean, it's uh, way faster, way faster, you know. You know, moving um, one game to one game from another hard drive to the next. Um, th this this way is just much faster. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. It's almost there. 18 more seconds. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys what to do. Okay, almost there, four seconds, three, two, one, and done. All right, there we go. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to exit out. This is how you exit out. You go to file in this corner. You probably can't see it, but you go to file. It's in the corner. Close window. Now, we're going to go back into the Ken Hank uh, hard drive. Bad Sarah. Just wait a little bit and it'll pop up. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Turn this down a little bit so you can hear me. Alright. Uh, so this is the next step you have to do. When you when you move from one Move one game to the, you know, from one hard drive to the next. This is what you have to do. You have to do this. You have to go to uh, game settings. And then update games list. It's right here. Make sure you do that. That's very important. All right. Now I'll update it. Now we're going to go to the PS3 folder. And Dead or Alive 5 should be on it. All right. There we go. Dead or Alive 5. So I'm going to start it up. I just want to show you guys, you know, the game, playing the games actually from the Ken Hank hard drive. This part is, is just going to load up all the PPU modules and stuff like that um, it shouldn't take too long but if you know if it does just you know just wait and it'll boot everything up <clears throat> 